Welcome back. This is your tea time on Plus TV Africa. And I'm sure, yes, you've been enjoying the show so far. And yes, you know how we do it on the show. You know, you never know what to expect in there. We're bringing in a guest shortly. And our guest is all the way from the United States of America. Yes, where they just concluded their presidential election. And you know, we won. Biden and not Donald Trump. <laughs> but let's go on. Yeah. So um, Sam is our guest. In case you're wondering who Sam is, because I'll be calling his name a lot during this, you know, short by. Sam was born in a city well known for art and culture. This city is a major dying center and a UNESCO World Heritage. Sam's father was a renowned photographer in the 70s and there were numerous known dramatists in the city. Acting skill almost became a basic natural talent for many children growing up in the city around the late 70s and early 80s. Growing up, Sam participated in numerous stage plays and joined theater groups in all his, in all his education, elementary, secondary and university. Sam has acted and produced several short films and few Christian feature films. Sam decided to produce Alejandro to further put out our rich cultural heritage to the world. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome Sam Ojo. Hi, Sam. How are you doing, Hi. Sam? Yeah, in case you guys have been wondering, who is Sam? Who is this Sam? That, that, who is... Was, that was really good. That was kind of very... <laughs> Very impressed with your introduction. I appreciate that. All right, all right. Nice to meet you, Sam. And for everyone at home, please kindly meet Sam. Yeah, that's the Sam I've been talking about all that long. Time. Okay, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, good to meet you. Um, I like hi. the hi. I like the synopsis of the movie. I think of it. I think it's underrepresented for sure. There mm. is a lot of rape cases out there, which we are forever grateful for, mm. especially as a woman. It is important to tell the stories of the voiceless, but there is a disparity between, you know, female gender oppression and male gender oppression oh, wow. in terms of, of how it's represented in the media. So I'm kind of really like in awe that somebody, especially a man, has decided to take up the responsibility of showing you guys this perspective. I mean, the world wouldn't know except you, you and the others like you do what you're doing. So what really inspired this movement for you? Was this a personal thing? Did it um, hit home or you just thought, oh, well, I need to just do this? No, thank you. So basically, I've always been an activist. Mm. And i very passionate with a lot of social vices in the society. Mm. Um, you just mentioned one, you know, injustice to women and mm. injustice to black people, injustice mm. to white people. It depends, regardless of the situation. So I was just thinking of what I could do, you know, starting from, you know, maybe take something as little as uh, injustice to to someone that is being considered as a lesser man in the society, mm. that is being helped by someone that is not considered as the most appropriate person, you know, an African person in, in Oklahoma. You probably don't see a well-to-do lawyer in Oklahoma. You might see that in New York, but not in yeah. Oklahoma. So this person who is very savvy in the legal profession decided to help this lesser man in the society and you know apply a location and was able to help himself in the process of helping um alejandro but straight to your question basically i must tell you that there is a lot of um problem in our society both in nigeria and in the u.s and basically we cannot resolve all those in one movie this is just the first phase and maybe mm. the next one will basically depict um more interest um, in women. But basically, in this particular movie, we were able to show the leadership in, in, in our women in the society. We were able to show that basically, sometimes when we're trying to provide for family, we might be neglecting our male role as a father, as the husband, and as a, a good person in the society. And we were right. able to put this all together in, okay. in the movie. All right, so before we even let you go, I would just like to see the trailer of the movie Alejandro. You guys enjoy. Good morning, Your Honor. <laughs> what you've just done is called manipulation. Denise está muerto. Déjame ver. My name is Sofia. Are you okay? My father needs a lawyer. 
Gomez, where are the drugs? We know that you took them. Why don't we grab a bite to eat? A cup of coffee will hurt. Papa. You know how I feel about you smoking that thing in the house. <gasps> You're so innocent. That... Yeah, buddy, we all are. Your Honor, I have a new information pertinent to Mr. Alejandro Gomez's case. I really don't have time for this debate this week. When will you have time? All rise. A son and a husband. Someone whose mistake will not only jeopardize his life, but will jeopardize the life of those that depended on him, especially his daughter. Now, if I get it back within the next three weeks, I won't harm a hair on this precious Sophia's head. If he doesn't, about you guys but i can't wait to see this movie you get me um but um sam thank thank you for staying with us right so i would really like to know um if i already asked you about what motivated you to create this movie but she asked a very valid question as well did it hit home or you just felt a need to address it was is that something you're seeing you know living in america all these decades that you feel like you need to represent the minority a whole lot better because it's also happening here we even have the minorities in Nigeria not being uh, properly represented. So is there a need for us to do better, you know, when it comes to the minorities? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's the story actually uh, is a Tell us the story line. while you're at it. Say that again, please. Tell us the story while you're at it as well. Of the movie. Okay, so yeah, yeah so the story is basically about um, a Mexican guy, like I mentioned earlier, on, who is considered a lesser man in the society, who doesn't have enough money, who was actually convicted for the crime that he did not commit. Yeah. And he was about to be railroaded when this guy, um, an African lawyer, um, who is not the most appropriate, tried to step in an allocution and helped him to get, uh, you know, uh, helped him in that case. But the lawyer was not really particular about the results of the case, but he was more particular about helping a fellow human being getting out of trouble. And in the process of doing so, he was making himself or, you know, becoming a better man and himself for, for his children, for, for his wife. And that's basically what the story is all about. And it could kind of take from the excerpt in the Bible that basically say, you know, um, Psalm 46, that uh, God is present help in the face of trouble. So Alejandro was in the face of trouble when this, um, when this uh, Lucas, who is the lawyer, stepped in to help. So okay. I look up, up to, the, to the hills and where comes my help. My help comes from Thank the you. Lord who made heaven and earth. And that's basically what prompted me to do, um, to make that real life event into a movie. Okay. Amazing. Thank you. Okay, I just watched the trailer now. I already know this is going to be a very amazing movie. But I must know, what are the major challenges you face while producing this movie? Mm. Uh, there are a lot of uh, challenges, I must be honest with you. Particularly, um, we were filming this movie during the COVID. So, and this was basically when the government uh, shut down the whole process and I was able to work with the Tulsa film and Oklahoma film and music, act and culture. And um, they gave us the standard to follow, you know, uh, standard of operation, basically. And we were able to do that. 
and we were able to achieve that. And that was very tremendous because even an American singer, Neo, actually made a shout out to us. We and saw said, that. Oh, we saw guys. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically, if you, it, it was very tremendous, and that was one aspect. And another one that we faced was basically um, inability to have enough fun because. We wanted to do this in a in a very large, big fund. But um, we we didn't have enough um, funds to be able to push it to the level that we want. But nevertheless, we were still able to do something that would be uh, appreciable for the audiences that we we are trying to to push this to, particularly people in Africa, people in Nigeria, particularly, and um, people in the United States. All right, so, so let's, let's... We are so proud. Okay, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, we, we, we are really proud that we were, we, were, we were able to use the local resources, local people, local artists, local actors, local crew, to deliver a world-class movie. All right. Movie. I'm glad you spoke about the cast because I was just about to ask you that what are some of the notable names, you know, Nigerian actors? Because when I was reading the um, synopsis of this movie, I saw that um, you had some Nigerian actors and then you had some um, international. You created this movie for Hollywood and Nollywood, which you, don't, which you don't see a lot of people do these days. So you're creating for, you're trying to get the best of both the worlds, world. right? Yeah. yeah. So tell us what are some yeah. of the people in this movie and how has the acceptance been, yeah. being in America, how has this movie been accepted so far oh actually the acceptance is very very good in america so you're making money like in nigeria i'm still so I'm you're still making money push in this. <laughs> oh, very, very i'm expecting that hopefully but <laughs> i must be honest with you the acceptance was has been very tremendous yeah particularly i must tell you here in the united states the news of Alejandro was top nine in the entertainment news when we were shooting this movie. And this was, yeah, this was in, 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 in the news along line with great names like Gwen Stefani, Melissa Cyrus, and Co. So it's kind of, I'm happy about that. We <laughs> are too. So um, in Nigeria, thank you. In Nigeria, we, we have uh, Tina Mba. We have uh, Nancy Asime, we have um, Afis Oyetoro in, in the movie. And uh, basically, you will see a lot of funny acts, comical aspect of Afis Oyetoro in the, in the movie. So basically, we try to move our culture and show our culture to the, to the people here in the U.S. Okay, so, so was it intentional? Because in the trailer, I didn't see a lot of this Nigerian big names you just mentioned. You know, a lot of people that have loved to see Afiz or Yituru. You know, we didn't see a lot of them in the trailer. Was that intentional not to make it look like uh, we are using big names to sell our film? You people should just go and watch us. Was that intentional or you, it was just something that you don't even know? I, 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 actually, I, I like that accolade though, but I must tell you that was still a teaser. Just to tease you that there's something coming mm. because the real trailer is coming very soon. Something fish is going down. The names. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go on. that's a teaser for, yeah. for our society to get ready that something really big is coming into our society and we want to step in, in the shoes mm. of great ones that have produced great news and great movies. Or, you know, in Nigeria, and that's exactly what we're doing. All right, it's been amazing having you on the show, Sam Ojo. But before we let you go quickly, just tell us when this movie is gonna drop. Are we gonna see it in the cinemas in Nigeria? Because I know you're, you know, you're a Yankee guy. You know what I mean? So, are we going to be expecting it in Nigeria, yeah, or, or we have to come all the way to you? You know, if Mohammed doesn't come to the mountain, the mountain will come to Mohammed. So, which one are we doing? <laughs> Definitely. Definitely, we are actually looking at the tail end of the next quarter, which is basically April 2021, and mm. it's going to be released in the U.S. cinema, definitely. Mm. Uh, we have distribution channel in the U.S., and also, after that, we will uh, release it in Nigeria market. It's going to be in the in the cinema. We're already talking to the distribution um, outlets in Nigeria, and they're expecting that. So once we, we finalize everything with the post-production, then we'll working with the post uh with the distribution all right that's so america we're expecting to see it in nigeria 
Awesome. Okay, so well, me, I don't know about you guys, though, but if you, if you like all expense paid trip is getting paid to America, I mean, I'm going to watch it in America. I don't know about these guys, but me, I'm coming, save me a seat in the cinema in America, my brother. And it's been amazing having you on the show, Sam. You are always welcome. And Alejandro, we look forward to it. Please drop it ASAP. Thank you very much for joining us.